Hello everyone and welcome to Factpire, where we help you gain information. Today's topic will be learning the states of matter. Our objectives for today are an introduction to the topic. Here we will get a basic understanding so that we can delve deeper into the topic. We will discuss the three states of matter which are solid, liquid, and gas. We will have a question and answer segment where questions will be given about what was discussed and you will get time to answer them. We will then go through the answers together. Lastly, we will have a recap of what was discussed in the video. So let's get started. To understand what the states of matter are, we must first understand what is matter. According to Britnessia.com, matter is the material substance that constitutes the observable universe. Matter can also be defined as any material that has mass and takes up space by having volume. Therefore, a state of matter is one of the distinct forms in which matter can exist. There are three distinct states of matter and each is determined by the arrangement of particles. There is another state of matter called plasma, but we will not investigate this one today. The ones we will look into are solid, liquid, and gas. Oftentimes, the state of matter of a substance can change by the addition or reduction of heat. An example would be, applying heat to ice, a solid, will turn it into water, a liquid. Now let us look at each state of matter individually. Beginning with solids. Solids are materials with a definite shape and volume. That simply means there is no changing of the shape or volume regardless of what container the solid is placed in. This is because the molecules that make it up are packed closely together and move very slowly. The kinetic energy, energy it needs to move, of the molecules are extremely low when compared to that of molecules in gases and liquids. Examples of solids include, ice, diamonds, rocks, etc. Moving on to liquids. Liquids have a definite volume but not a definite shape. Meaning that it tends to take the shape of whatever container it is placed in, but the volume will remain the same. The molecules in liquids are closely packed, but not as much as in solids. These molecules also move freely. Examples of liquids include water, lava, rain, etc. Lastly, we have gas. Gas does not have a definite shape nor a definite volume. The molecules in gas are far apart, and move more freely than in liquids. They have high kinetic energy due to their molecules having more room to move. Examples of gas include water vapor, oxygen, methane, etc. Let us move on to our question and answer segment. There are five questions here to be answered. Go ahead and pause the video to answer the questions on your own, if not, we shall go through them together. Let's begin. First question. What state of matter is it where the molecules are close but there is enough room for movement? Liquid. How many states of matter are there? 4. Remember we said that plasma is also a state of matter. True or false? Solids take the shape of whatever container they are in. False. Two examples of the state of matter gas. Water vapor, oxygen, and methane. Molecules in which state has the lowest kinetic energy? Solids. Now that we have done this, let us do a quick revision to wrap. There are four states of matter, namely, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Solids have a definitive shape and volume. These molecules are very closely packed. An example is ice. Liquids have a definitive volume but not a definitive shape. They take the shape of whatever container it is in. The molecules are close but not tightly packed. An example is rain. Gases have no definitive shape nor volume. Their molecules are far apart and move freely. An example is oxygen. Thank you guys for sticking through this video. Hope it was helpful and that you learned something today. Until next time, 
Bye.